What is up guys, H Masters here today doing a LEGO Technic 2017 review on item number 42058 Stump Bike. It is ages 7 to 14 and has 140 pieces. On the front of the box, you can just see the stump bike and the pullback function. On the back of the box, you can see it combines with item number 42059 and you can make this combo model. Fully complete, the set comes with the stump bike and a little stand for the stump bike to go off. But first, let's go ahead and take a more closer look at the actual stump bike. Taking a look at the stump bike more in depth, the first thing that I noticed right away was that this is actually asymmetrical. When you look at it from two different sides, this side you can see this little bit of tubing and an exhaust pipe coming out. But when you turn it around to the other side, you can see the function and you don't see any tubing or an exhaust pipe which is kind of weird and I, I honestly think that they could have easily pulled off making it um, symmetrical at least with having the tubing and the exhaust pipe. However, they chose not to go that route so that was kind of interesting on their part. Another little detail about the, um, the bike is that it does have these stickers that says the number 8. Taking a look at the bike more up front, you can see two headlights and a lot more of an aggressive standpoint. The bike is very low to the ground, which is actually pretty good, and it does actually manage to get good traction despite being this low to the ground. But also, you can see these two little blue pieces used to sort of represent a windshield and these two little handles sticking up. A little bit of an interesting thing to note though is if you move it to the side just a little bit, you can see there's actually two blue pins protruding out with no actual connection, which I'm not quite sure why there's no connection there, but it is just something interesting to know. Looking at the bike from a back angle, you can truly see just how asymmetrical this is. You can tell this side is a whole lot wider, and then you can really see some of the details here, such as this yellow sort of half a bushing piece versus this black piece here. You can see these two regular bushings and then the function there. You can also see this exhaust pipe and there's no exhaust pipe over here. Also, once again, there are two axles sticking out for no real reason. However, that is kind of something to expect with a Technic set. Looking at the bike from the top view, you can see a little bit of gaps here and you can also see how the more seat area is a little more slanted and they're actually not even connected. If you look very closely, you can see a little bit of a gap here. Alright, so just like the rest of these pullback sets, there is a little bit of a function in this set. So basically what you would do is you would move this bike, you would pull it back like so, winding it up, and then you would let go and it would shoot forward. However, on this set specifically, I find this function to be a little bit tricky to use. Because with all these gears here, there's a lot of actual friction in here. So it will go, but it will go only shorter distances, at least from my experiences using it. And it does, of course, work best on hard surfaces. However, this isn't really too big of a deal. However, it is a little bit interesting because the whole goal of the set is to be able to pull back and just shoot forward. And this set doesn't really accomplish it as well as some of its counterparts. Taking a closer look at this stand, you can see it's just one whole cardboard piece which you fold together and then connect using some Technic pieces over here which you see on the bottom. However, this is kind of interesting because the way they have you connect it it leaves this little gap here. Now because of this, the way this is supposed to work is that you would remove the stunt bike and then let go. However, you know, it doesn't really work too great because of this gap so it can barely get any air whatsoever. And this is very annoying. However, you can sort of fix that a little bit because if you take these two pieces and move them back like so, what we'll, what I'll do is that I'll create a little bit less of a gap here. So you'll be able to wind this back and get a little bit more clearance here. However, it still doesn't really work that well, which again is kind of annoying because, you know, the whole point of the set is for it to really be able to go off the ramp and pull forward. So overall, the stunt bike is a relatively good set. However, the thing with it is that what it's trying to do, it just doesn't really accomplish. The whole play features of this set just don't work. The ramp barely does anything to add play value because the ramp barely works at all. The pulling back, there's just way too much friction in the actual gear system for the pulling back function to truly work well with this set. And that's just kind of a bummer because the whole point of the set is for it to be able to pull back and just shoot forward and go off that ramp so you can get some cool stunts, which hence the name, Stunt Bike. 
However, this set just kind of falls flat on its face over there in that category. Now, although this set as a whole isn't too bad, it's actually a very nice looking bike. There's lots of cool details and the bike itself just looks really good. It just kind of fails in the areas where it's really trying to accomplish it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my review on the LEGO Technic stunt bike. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, see you guys later.